Hello, friends, and welcome to the Conscious Building Club. I'm Lori Sharpage, and I'm bringing my expertise as a psychotherapist, my baggage as a human, and my hunch that learning how to cope is going to be a lot more fun when we do it together. Today's episode is brought to you by the coping skill of gratitude. All that and more on this week's episode of the Conscious Coping Club. It's time to delve into an incredibly powerful and accessible coping skill gratitude. Gratitude is more than just saying thank you. It's more than just an act to show politeness or respect. It's a way of seeing the world, a mindset that focuses on all the good in our lives. Practicing gratitude can shift our attention from what's wrong to what's right. It helps us appreciate the present moments, reminding us of the simple joys and blessings that we often overlook. But how exactly does one practice gratitude? Well, really any way that you want. It can be as simple as jotting down three things that you're thankful for each day. This is an act that has been shown to rewire our brains to focus more on the positives. You can also take an intentional moment to reflect on what in your life you're loving, what is feeling good, what small pleasures or moments of contentment have you experienced today. The smaller the better in my book because many moments of gratitude outweigh one big one. At least I think so. Remember, practicing gratitude is not about ignoring negatives or problems in our lives. We aren't looking to invalidate our experiences. We're simply wanting to add gratitude into them. So you can be angry and you can be grateful. You can have to put down new boundaries and also still be grateful for that relationship. You can have the worst day of your life and also still be grateful for some aspects of it. It's about acknowledging both the full spectrum and scope of our experiences and gently and compassionately choosing to redirect ourselves on what we have versus what we do not. Research has shown that gratitude sows the seeds of happiness and contentment in our life. So if those are feelings you want more of, gratitude is the tool to be using. The act of gratitude can boost our mood, improve our relationships, even reduce our stress and anxiety. It's truly a powerful tool for our mental health. And I know it may seem simple, it may even seem trite, but its impact on our well-being can be profound when we practice it consistently. Because there is always something to be thankful for, even if it's just that the sky is blue and that dogs are loyal and that love, especially the love we give ourselves, is ever-present. Gratitude is a skill worth strengthening, and I hope you will join me in doing so. That's all for this episode of the Conscious Coping Club. Join me on this journey at ConsciousCoping.club, where we navigate the labyrinth of life together with intention, courage, and a sense of discovery. Make sure to like and follow for more great content. And until next time, don't just cope, consciously cope. Mm -hmm.